There are three places any gear-hungry filmmaker will go to either buy or lust over new gear. These are B&H, Amazon, and yeah, I have my own gear page on Amazon, and Adorama. They have their own YouTube channel with over 60,000 subscribers, which I'll link in the info card and in the description below. Adorama sent me a tripod that looks like it may fit as a low-cost tripod at 129 bucks. This is the 3Pod V3AH tripod. Opening it up is a snap. You pull on this and spread the center brace, which adds stability and strength. The rubber feet keep the tripod from slipping on flat surfaces, and by extending the pins, you can stably use it on outdoor soft surfaces, such as grass. The locking knobs for the legs are quite easy to grasp, unlatch, and have a positive snap to lock. What really impresses me is the included two-way fluid head on a unit of 129 bucks. It has an included adjustable handle and smartly enough can be mounted on either side of the video head. The head silently rotates a full 360 degree range without any jitter. The pan and tilt knobs are separate and easily accessible. They solidly lock and unlock. The mechanism includes dampening, counterbalance, and drag friction. You can see here that the head tries to return to its original position, which is a good thing in a video head. It has a built-in bubble level, which any tripod head should have. The head includes a sliding quick release plate, which detaches from the head with a safe spring release pin. This is really important in a fail on many tripods. I've seen many a tripod with no locking mechanism on the quick release plate, or none at all. The best thing about this one is it's not yet another weird size of plate. This one exactly matches my Manfrotto quick release plates, of which I have many for cameras, sliders, mini jibs, and moving the camera from one tripod to the next. The plate includes both 1 quarter inch and 3 8 inch mounting screws, and a spring-loaded pin. Now here's something to talk about when choosing a tripod. You can have a pan and tilt mounting or a half bowl mounting like this one. The bowl mounting tripods are handy as you don't have to fiddle with leveling. You extend the legs to the approximate height you want, then use the bowl mount to adjust the camera to level. This type of mount is a decision based on ease of use and weight. If you're going to mount some heavy jib on this type of tripod, you might consider using a fixed mount rather than a bowl mount. Here's the specs on this thing. It has a two-way fluid head. The base mount is a 50 millimeter ball basket type. The camera mount has a quick release plate as I've covered. It's made out of anodized aluminum. The max height is 61 inches, that's 155 centimeters. The minimum height is 30 inches, 76.2 centimeters. And when folded up, it's 28 inches, 71.1 centimeters. It has a center brace and the leg are in three separate sections. The leg locks are a positive flip type, which I really like. The maximum load capacity is 14.5 pounds or 6.6 .6 kilograms. I've taken tripods and loaded way more than their stated capacity setting. Something at 15 max load, I've even put 17, 18, 20 at some point. <laughs> Uh, the tripod fails and you don't want that because all your gear comes tumbling down. It weighs 9.25 pounds, that's 4.2 kilograms. And that may sound like a lot, but really this thing is, it's quite light. I could pick it up with one hand easy and as you've noticed, I'm not a muscular guy. The fluid head has drag fixed and built into it. Leg types are retractable and you can spin them around to have the rubber bottoms or the spikes, as I mentioned earlier. The head has a leveling bubble, and to transport it, it has a nice padded bag. Its footprint, when opened up, is 41 inches in diameter, that's about one meter, and each of the leg sections extend independently, which is great. Best yet, it's got a three-year warranty. Not a bad tripod for the price. Links are in the description below. I hope that helps, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Something H tripod pod. Three pod tripod. Holy crap. You can easily three pod V3 shit.